my dear students assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss about paxinia actually it is a type of fungus belong to the division basidiomycota so firstly we will try to discuss about the classification classification in the classification we will try to discuss about the division class order family and genus so in the first we will go to discuss about its division and division name of paxinia is basidiomycota basidiomycota so next is class and the class of paxinia is basidiomyces basidio my seeds after the class there is an order and the order of coccinia is uridi nails uridi nails after the order there is a family after the order there is a family and the family name is coccinaceae coccinaceae and after the family the last taxa is known as genus and the genus name is simply paxinia genus name is actually paxinia so after the classification we are going to discuss about its occurrence so we can write here occurrence of Paxinia. So where this Paxinia is present? Actually, this Paxinia is a genus and it is a largest genus. So we can write here: it is a largest genus, and it contains many many more species. It contains. many species many species of the genus paxinia almost almost all species all species of paxinia of paxinia are obligate parasite are obligate parasites all the species are most are the obligate parasites so what are actually the obligate parasites so when we can say the obligate parasite actually these are the parasites which need a living host for their survival and reproduction so such type of parasites are known as obligate parasites so we can write here now about obligate parasites obligate parasites so we can write here these are the parasites which need the parasites which need a living host which need a living host for the survival as well as reproduction for survival and reproduction such type of parasites are known as obligate parasites actually these are uh, the example of this paxinia species is paxinia graminus paxinia graminus actually it is the species of or uh, example of the paxinia actually paxinia is a genus and this is the species of this genus which is known as paxinia graminis this species has many many more forms so we can write here this species have many forms and all the forms are actually the parasites obligate parasites of living organism and if we talk about these forms 
So one example we are going to take. One example is the Paxenia graminus triticae. Paxenia graminus triticae. This is actually the form of this species. We have told you that Paxenia graminus has many forms and Paxenia graminus triticae is the form of this species because it has many forms and each form has its own or a specific host. So if we talk about this form of the gram Paxenia graminus, it is Paxenia graminus triticae and this is the parasite of wheat. We can write here, it is a parasite of wheat. And this species actually completes its life cycle into two hosts. So what are the two hosts in which this uh, form of the Paxenia graminus completes its life cycle? One host is a weed. And the second host of this form of this species is barely. Barely. So it can complete its life cycle into two hosts. After the occurrence and classification, we are going to discuss about the life cycle of Paxenia actually. So you can mention here, life cycle of Paxenia. Life cycle of Paxenia actually consists of five phases. So you can write here, life cycle of Paxenia consists of five phases or stages. Five stages or a phases. So first stage in the life cycle of Paxenia is known as uridinium stage. Uridinium stage. The second stage in the life cycle of Paxenia is known as telial stage. Telial stage. The third stage in the life cycle of Paxenia is known as basidial stage. Basidial stage. Number four, the stage in the life cycle of Paxenia is known as pycnial stage. Pycnial stage and the number 5 stage which is involved in the life cycle of Paxenia is known as Asial stage. A E C I E L. Asial stage. So actually the life cycle of Paxenia consists of these 5 phases. About all these phases we will discuss in the next lecture in detail.